Okay, family, how are you? It's me, Miss Sam. So I've been having fun doing <laughs> doing some little short videos here this morning. This morning, and um, I'll do another two longer videos readings later on. Anyway, Krishan has responded has responded to Tamar's fake crying and <laughs> crying and no tears. <laughs> I wonder if Tamar thinks that we're just like Miss Evelyn and her family, that we're really that gullible. Anyway, <clears throat> Krishan's mother-in-law, Carlissa, has said, uh, no, Tamar, you really don't want Krishan to box you. You really don't, you really don't want that. You don't, you don't want that. <laughs> because she might box off the rest of your nose. Pinocchio and uh, Krishan has come out and she has been on DJ Sky now DJ Sky is her female DJ who and do you know they were supposed to be at Chris Brown they were supposed to be over at Chris Brown's party um, <laughs> boy. and they decided against their better judgment to go over there to Tamar to go over there to Tamar's cabaret to go and, and sit up with those bad-minded, jealous uh, peoples over there. Krishan getting so much money, much more than James, what's it, what his name is, and the other girl who told her not to touch her. Hmm? You know, you're entitled to tell people, you know, don't touch me, you stay in your space, I'll stay in mine, that type of thing. But uh, all Krishan did was put her arm on this lady. You really can't work out people and their issues, you know, honestly. But anyway, uh, they're all a bunch of liars, basically, because up till now, we still ain't seen no video, no photo, photoshopped or not, of nothing that went down. So Krishan just said, look here. She de deactivated her Instagram page, probably because she's been ordered to do it, you know, professionally wise. And she will put the Instagram page back up soon. But in the meantime, she spoke on DJ Sky's page and said, look, <laughs> what the hell did you bring? let me bring my DJ? And why did you give me a microphone? And y'all know you you were discussing the set with my dj and we were ready to rock and roll y'all knew about that so what on earth happened well krishan what had krishan said this is really nice what she said it's nice but you know it's unfortunate that she had to say it she said she's going to be family you might want to write this one down stingy you might want to write this one down Sting. krishan says she's going to be stingy with her clout. I shall write it down in my uh, Mummy Water book. Okay? Hold on. Shall I write it this way or this way? Let me write it this way. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, there we go. Stingy with her clout okay stingy hold on <laughs> stingy with her clout stingy <laughs> now that means Krishan unfortunately has learned a harsh industry lesson that you can't be genuine with people who are not genuine Tamar Braxton et al are fake Fake, fake like Tamar's nose, fake like the filter that she used because she claimed that she washed her face. So washing her face means that you can't show your, your real face? What, that, what does that mean? Are you that insecure? Obviously. Because what they tried to do, they pulled a Mickey Mouse publicity stunt and tried to mess up Krishan, tried to mess up Krishan's career and tried to mess up, and somebody was trying to be feisty yesterday somebody wrote a comment, it's easy, okay, remembered somebody said, I thought you said the industry loved Krishan well, number one, the industry is several, we're talking about several types of industry here 
Oh, we're talking about several types of audiences, which of course, if Krishan was thinking professionally, she wouldn't have gone to Tamar's cabaret show because that is not her audience over there at all. People carrying on as if Tamar is classy and bougie and all the rest of it. I can't see it quite frankly, but I think this maybe could be an Atlanta thing, you know. The Emperor's New Clothes, smoke and mirrors type of thing with very little substance. So, you know, my international self knows much better than that. But anywho, uh, y'all think Tamar is bougie and she's Queen Antoinette and all the rest of it. But uh, Krishan had a bag to go and collect over there at Chris Brown's uh, concert and... You know, because she's just trying to do this kind of for the girls thing, the Be More thing, the Marilyn thing, whatever. And Krishan acted on her heart and not her head. Now she has said that Krishan has said she is now going to be stingy with her clout. Now when I was growing up, the word clout meant a box <laughs> when I was growing up. Like we used to say when we were going home from school, that so it usually was with English families, not Caribbean, West Indian families. We would say to our, our white friends at school, you better get home quickly because your mum your mom and dad, you know your mum's going to clout you. That meant to get a box or to get a slap or to be physically attacked by one's parents. Usually English people spoke, that's English people's terms, clout. But, you know, fast forward in 2023, 2000, you know, etc. In this, at this time, uh, people use the word clout for reputation and energy, the, the ting, the, the it factor and all the rest of it, which of course, Krishan has a lot of it. Whether y'all like her or not, <laughs> she has a lot of it. And... And, and Tamar's clout is only within a certain group of people, okay? Only within a certain group of people. So, uh, interestingly enough, we've seen those, you know, we've seen attacks on heterosexual black women a couple of times this week. And, um, and uh, Kiki, Kiki Palmer, is now being uh, called an aggressive person and Darius is coming up with some little scratches or something that he probably left his jewelry on and showered or something and it scratched him. a little scratch a little bit he probably got a little sutton and he took kiki if you're listening to this come here girl come here kiki from now on <laughs> If you date somebody and they breathe too hard near you and cause any kind of rash, mark or reaction on your skin, take a photo of it and make a note of it. Kiki, if you date somebody and they brush past you too hard or hold your hand too tightly, darling, Take a picture of it, etc., and describe how it made you feel. Okay, how it made you feel because what we can see here now, with this boy Darius Jackson releasing nonsense to Armand Wiggins, who himself don't like black women. Okay, he don't. Right, very much like uh, James over there on Tamar's stage. Don't like black, only like black women when they support him. Okay? Okay? Unfortunately, we have a contingent, and it's not all gay black men, but we have a contingent of, of gay black men who are just as wicked and horrible as some of these straight guys. And I tell you, I watched something to do with Passport Bros yesterday, the day before. I couldn't help it. And these two passport bros from Texas are stuck in Europe, broke, and are begging people for cash apps to send their ass over to Colombia of all places because they feel that they got game. Anywho, that is another topic for another time. I can't be bothered. But the, their narrative is 
they don't want to they don't want American black women to win that's their narrative so there's an attack on black women there's an attack on American black women by American black some some of them hetero I wouldn't say all I wouldn't even say the majority I would say there is an active contingent of minority uh, number wise heterosexual african-american men attacking black women okay as long as your skin is this color they don't care if you're african-american or whatever you black they they put you in a certain category the nerve of these people anywho and a small contingent of gay black insecure men month-to-month -month men who are not usually very reliable but if you support them then they'll like you but when push come to shove as we've seen this week Kiki Palmer and Darius and uh, Krishan and 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 we don't even know if anything happened between Krishan and uh, the, the big guy he big like a giant Tamar talking about her team is traumatized. Hey, listen. <laughs> I was traumatized watching Tamar's response. I was traumatized. The angle of the camera wasn't great. Because the nose canal was too like this. I couldn't see it. I couldn't do it. Anywho. So, stingy with her clout, that's what Krishan is doing. Now, why did I pick up, why did I turn this camera on in the first place? I was going to do a reading on somebody, was I? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll come back later on. Okay, because I've got to get ready for the frogman. Ashe. Bless. <laughs>